Hey, I'm Sarah McBurney Laporto and I am answering your McBurning questions. I get a ton of questions about in-law apartments, in-law living situations. So I figured I would share a little bit of information with you about in-law situations. So first and foremost, an in-law, which is sort of an accessory living space or an accessory apartment that is secondary to the main house. Sometimes they're in the lower level, sometimes they're on the main level, um, sometimes they're in just an attached addition to the main house. They do not constitute a second legal unit, meaning just because it has an in-law does not make it a two-family. So you can't technically rent it out and collect rent, and you can't collect rent and have that rental income go toward your mortgage qualification or to help um, cover like your pre-approval. It doesn't count as income if there is an in-law apartment. The primary use for an in-law apartment would be an extended family living situation. Um, often there are requirements where you can have a secondary space, i.e. an in-law apartment, but you must have a shared kitchen, one main kitchen. There are other towns and other zoning laws where um, in-laws are permitted to have a kitchen or some form of a kitchen. Um, it really depends on your needs and it also depends on the town and what they permit. So if you are interested in adding an in-law or you are interested in purchasing a property that either has an in-law or um, has the potential for one and you want to put one in, just make sure that you partner up with building inspection with the zoning enforcement officer to ensure that you are not doing anything illegal. Hope this answers your question. As always, you can call or text 978-337-9955. You can also visit sarahwillsellyourhome.com and click on the McBurning Questions tab. Take care.